Hello and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sor Darkchild, and welcome to Let's Play Live Alive. Last time we completed the prehistory <laughs> chapter, and now I am going to be uh, moving on to the next chapter, which will be Imperial China. I will do it all from beginning to end, like I did with uh, prehistory, despite it saying that I've got a save in progress as for it. Reason it says that is because I was curious to see what happens when... I'll explain as we go. For now, let's uh, start from the beginning. An old Chinese master nearing the end of his life year yearns to provide, preserve his Kung Fu for future generations. With his purpose does, with this purpose does he venture forth from his home atop Mount Aspiration in a in search of a worthy successor to his legacy. Once he has gathered three disciples, he will subject them to rent relentless training to strengthen the body, essence of enhance the reflexes, and unlock true potential. Of these three who will rise to the occasion and become the next Shifu. And unlike uh, prehistory, this time there will be uh, people talking in this uh, chapter. In time, all fades from memory. For the sake of future generations, an old man labors tirelessly to preserve his legacy. A powerful martial art. The Earthen Heart Shifu. And we start this chapter with him doing his daily training atop Mount Aspiration. With the spirit unwavering as the earth. And a mind tranquil as flowing water. Yet gentle streams may surge with such strength to shatter even hardened stone. To cultivate the soul and surpass the flesh. To strive for something greater than oneself. That was his Kung Fu. Hmm. Hmm. It's as I feared. Have not a moment to lose. I must use what time is left to me to find and train the disciple. A young prodigy, as strong in body as he in spirit. A worthy successor to my heart. Yeah. 
Imperial China, the successor. And so it was that the Shifu began his search for a young heir. Long had it been since he last ventured down from the mountains. And before I do all of that, I'm going to check my uh, house. You never know what useful items you'll get. Put those items quick. That'll do. Now then. Grab any sparklies on the uh, ground. Quite fast for a guy who's eating. Quick, someone grab him. First one to grab him gets a free meal. Aha, caught you. Finally. Now, pay what you owe right this instant. I can't. I don't have any money. Oh, really? Well, we'll just have to find another way to settle this then, won't we? Oh, Shifu! This idiot's been stealing food from me since I don't know when! He single-handedly brought my business to the brink of ruin! Teach the scoundrel a lesson! Oh, come now. I'm not being unreasonable. I've got mouths to feed, you know? A wife and half a dozen kids. What choice do I have? Unless you'd like to foot the bill. Very well. I'll see to the lad. That was incredible, Shifu! Let that be a lesson to you, thief! Steal from me again, and I'll take it out of your hide! If you chose I'll see to the lad as your first option, you would have to fight him. Tell me, why take without paying? What is due? I cannot pay because I have no job. No one will hire me. I have no skills, no trade. My words are poor, but my body is big, as is my hunger. Yao Man, do not bemoan your body. It is a gift. Huh? But it is why I suffer. 
why people laugh and call me names. How is that a gift? Because, young man, it makes you wonderful and unique. But it is for you to decide whether you will embrace your potential or deny it in shame. P potential? You think I have potential? You move with the swiftness of a man half your size. Practice. After I eat, I must run. Come with me, and I'll see that you never want for food. All I ask in return is that you take part in a few training exercises. Think of it as a job, if you like, and your meals the payment. A, a job? I've always wanted a job. Thank you, Shufu. I accept. Tell me, what is your name? Uh, Hong. Hong Haka. When do we start? And when do we eat? Ha ha! Welcome to the team, Hong. We're guessing from that orange diamond, we got more people to choose for our disciples. Pardon me. I forgot to mention there are tigers in this area, and I think we're being followed. Yep, definitely being followed. Grab everything that sparkles. Pardon me while I take care of this tiger. Oh, hi there. An old man should know better than to walk alone in the woods. But I'm not alone. As you see, I got this big guy with me. Hand over your money. Quickly, or else. I am afraid I have nothing for you. What was that? I said I have nothing to offer. Nothing to offer that you would appreciate, that is. That right. Don't think I'll go easy on you because of your age. In fact, I think your long life ends today! Never underestimate your elders. They can surprise you. Fox has many secrets. Uh, take that. Oh. Uh. 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 You did well. Told you not to underestimate him. How could I lose to this fool four times my age? <laughs> the young would do well not to disrespect their elders. 
nor underestimate their skill. I must say, I'm impressed by your speed and agility. Might you consider abandoning this life of banditry and instead allow me to teach you my kung fu? Piss off, old man! Oi. Although, it's going to eat at me, not knowing how you run so easily. Fine. I accept. Let's see what's so great about your kung fu. But don't misunderstand me. You're not my shifu, and I'm not your student. Once I've learned your secrets, I'll get my revenge on you. <laughs> You've a lot of spirit, young lady. Oh, I'm no lady. I'm Lei. Lei Kugel. And don't you forget it. You may rest assured that I will not. It is a good, strong name, worthy of pride. But pride will lead you astray if you let it. As it did not so long ago. <clears throat> Quick with the retorts, aren't you? Lead on, then. We'll see if you're as good as you say. Yeah! All right, Lee, welcome to the team. That makes two disciples we found. One more. I was hoping to be quick with that tiger. There we go. Now to follow that uh, orange diamond, find out where that leads us. Hopefully to our third and last disciple. help you. Thanks, and my apologies. That was my grandson, Yuin, who just ran through. He is a kind and considerate boy, usually. These days, though, he's not quite himself. Maybe it's just a phase. He lost his parents when he was young, and while I did my best, there's no making up for that. We'll look into this. And it looks like he's run into with the wrong crowd. Where do you think you're going? Well, don't keep me waiting now. Okay. No. No! This won't do at all. You need to learn to pick your targets better. Now, get back out there and try harder! <sighs> Don't just stand there! Get going! No, I won't. What was that? I did what you told me to do because I was too scared to refuse. But enough is enough. I told myself it was for her. Too sick to work now, even. But these poor people. They're someone else's elders. I can't keep stealing from them. I'll 
give you a chance to apologize for your disrespect. Disrespect, Fooey, he has a heart. You're not worthy of respect. I'll not live my life as a whip dog for a bastard like you. <laughs> oh, but you will. You will learn to accept your place in this world. Now, apologize before I lose my temper. No. Ah, ungrateful whelp. Walk away, old man, if you value what little life you've got left. Pardon me. What do you want? Tell me, do you believe yourself stronger than this boy? <laughs> A stupid question. I wouldn't be too sure about that. And your associates are rather weaker. Are you blind? Look on me, the great Sun Tzu Wen, and tell me I am not a thousand times the man he will ever be. I do not deny that you have an impressive physique. However, true strength is not derived from the body alone. And that is why I believe this boy to have greater potential than all of you combined. <laughs> really? I can't see it! <sighs> Indeed. That much is plain. True strength flows from the heart. Teach you to pick on the weak. Boom! You'll be weeping blood when I'm through with you. The monkey's speed is mine. Ha! You think you're winning, do you? Ha! Not quite. Recognize him. Me too. He he knows Kung Fu. He's the Shifu. He him. I uh forgive me, Shifu. Forgive me. Are you okay, boy? Proud, young man. But how can you say that? I stole your money. Yeah, water over the bridge. Uh, your money. Here, take it. Thank you. Remember the strength of spirit you found today. Wait, wait! Please accept me as your disciple. He'll become your disciple regardless which answer you choose. This one just makes him uh, join your disciple as your disciple before you get back to your cottage. I'm afraid I must decline. Tell me. Do you wish to learn Kung Fu to exact revenge on those brigands? Uh, 
well? Fear not, for you have already more than defeated them. But... Shifu! Please, please allow me to be your disciple. Please, I implore you! Well, if you insist... Shifu! You showed bravery in the face of overwhelming odds. I am sure you would grow much stronger, whether I were to train you or not. For the power you seek is beyond no one. Be the man or woman, old or young, it matters not. For it is the will to improve, to be better. Therein lies true strength. I... I see. I do not believe you have told me your name. I'm Yuin. Yuin Zhou. You won't regret this decision, Shifu. I promise you. All right, we've got all three of my disciples. Well. It looks as though I found my three disciples. I'm afraid my school has seen better days, but it will suffice. Come, let us go and begin your training at once. What level are all three of you? Whoa, oh boy. Uh, let's see. Hong is level five. Lee is level three. And Yuin is level one. Oh boy. I think I need to get some experience in on them before I continue this story. Which shouldn't take me long. So I will meet you guys back at the uh, cottage before I continue the story. And uh, I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Okay, I'm back everybody. Took me a while, but I got the uh, team here to satisfactory levels that I'd want them to be. For Hong, I got him to level 6. Yuin, I got him to level 5, which is really good for him. And Li at level 5, which is not really all that much for both Li and Han. I mean, uh, Li and Hong. But, uh, all three of them are basically three different, uh, types of disciples you can get. Hong it can be a tank in defense. Li is your main attacker, so she's really good with attack moves. And supposedly, Yuan is supposed to be a balance, a mix between the two. And I'll explain more after this. I bid you welcome to my school. You weren't kidding when you said it had seen better days. So this is where I'll learn Kung Fu. But, but first we eat, yes? We cannot train if we do not eat, surely. At least a little, yes? No, we must begin training immediately. But, Shifu! This place was further up the mountain than I expected. Maybe we should rest a bit? Listen to yourselves, whimpering children. Bring it on, old man. I'm ready. We shall begin by assessing your present strengths and skill. I'll go first. As you wish, me. Now, come at me with all your might. You asked for it! Ready for round two, Lee? I see. Not good. 
and you're paralyzed. Awesome. The wise fox has many secrets. That's all, then. Uh, not again. Who is next? I am. The sooner I fight, the sooner I eat, yes? When today's training is done, you may eat to your heart's content. Sounds good to me. A single step. Even the most mighty can be restrained. That's two down. That's all, then. Now for the last one. No, no more. Well fought. Now, Ring, if you are afraid. Then you may leave. There is no disgrace. No, I'll face you. Then come at me without hesitation, without mercy. Uh, okay. with but a single step. You did well. <sighs> You've all exceeded my expectations. I have to say, this is the most fun I've had in years. have thought I'd find three promising disciples so quickly. I've not felt this tired in a long time, but it is a welcome fatigue. Hong, what's wrong? that you still have cravings now then it is vital that we improve your stamina the air here at the summit is very thin so you have to expand twice as much effort during your training Four bouts is our limit for today, I would say. With whom shall I start?
Okay. This is where it comes into play. Training your disciples. By faving a disciple in a training bout, you will help them grow stronger by increasing the level and acquiring new abilities. Whoever you fave the most will be with you by the end of this story. So your choice is up to you. The strength, the tank, or the balance. I think, and I've seen all three in combat, and they're all really, really good. So, I'm having a little bit of trouble trying to choose which one of the three do I want for my disciple for this, uh, for this, uh, episode. I feel like I need to flip a coin of sorts. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, first up... Heads for the girl, tails for the tank. Okay, the girl wins that one. Now, girl versus balance. Whoops. Try that one again. Balance it is. I'm ready, Shifu. Show me what you can do. Oh, and, uh, there's a little bit of something I forgot to mention, so make sure you, uh, until one of them joins you, make sure you remove everybody's equipment. You'll see why soon enough. Show me what you can do. bad he leveled up excellent much better than I expected two more rounds should suffice I'm ready Shifu show me what you can do Well, are you in?
One more round. I'm ready. Show me what you can do. Oh yeah, I forgot. He levels up. As he levels up, he learns not only his own techniques, he'll also learn some of the moves that you know. All of them will. Step right as a chipmunk. Good, I got him up two levels for that. I think that will do for today. That's all for today. Tomorrow, we will train elsewhere. Now go and take a well-earned rest. Today, we'll be training to improve your speed and agility. Speed is... not my strength. There's something odd about this ground. It seems hard to move around on. <laughs> this will be easy. I know this place like the back of my hand. Then, let's begin. Let us spar, Shifu. Show me what you have learned. Oh dear, I got paralyzed for a brief second. The wise fox has many secrets. The monkey's speed is mine. Three more rounds should do it. Let us spar ship. Show me what you have learned. Started. Two more rounds. Let us, Sparshi, show me what you have learned. So far, you and you have been doing really well. Step right as a chipmunk. You've been lucky twice to get me paralyzed. I'm afraid I can't let you do that again. Ah! 
one more round. Let us march. Show me what you have learned. counter back and forth. How about that? Wise Fox, there's many secrets. Ooh, you can't move. No, no. I think that it will do for today. My students are eager, and though they would never admit it themselves, I fear I push them too hard today. I should go and see how they are doing. Ah, they must be truly exhausted to sleep so soundly on such a hard floor. Hmm? Where is Yuin? has her strength. Lei has her speed. Yet I have you worked on both for those exercises. I've got to find an edge. I can't lose to them. <sighs> oh, Yuin. Well done, everyone. You have all demonstrated sufficient mastery of the fundamentals. Henceforth, we will face one another not in sparring matches, but in true contest of strength. In so doing, you will learn to draw upon the power within. Now this is what I've been waiting for. If we win, we will be rewarded? With a feast? In a real battle, your opponent will be fighting to kill. Which is why I shall be holding nothing back today. <sighs> They've all become much stronger. I can manage four rounds at best. Now, who shall I challenge first? Okay, this is the last time I have to do those number of rounds favoring my favorite, uh, disciple. See you after the fourth round. I'll do my best. Show me your all.
still three more rounds to go. I'll do my best. Show me your all. Do my best. Show me your all. One more. I'll do my best. Show me your all. for today. Exhaustion is welcome evidence of your tremendous improvement. <laughs> I'm in need of rest. If you would excuse me. In time, all that begins must come to an end. One morning, the Shifu realized he had little left to pass on to his disciples. And that their long days spent 
and training would soon be a thing of the past. Today's lesson is perhaps the most important. Listen well. You have all become very strong indeed. But remember, true strength is more than the power to defeat your enemy. It is the power to defend yourself and that which you hold dear. Shifu! Shifu! It's you! Whatever happened, I didn't do it. <laughs> I'm not here for you! Bandits from Wong, they're terrorizing the people of Yuifa! Bandits from Wong, you say? It must be Sun Tzu Wong and his gang. They probably thought they could go to Yuifa and carry on like before without attracting your notice. I'll deal with them. You will do no such thing. Strong as you've grown, it will be foolish and reckless. <sighs> do not misunderstand. I dare say you could defeat one and his entourage. But what will happen then? Others will come and the people of Yunfa will suffer. Violence begets violence. Hate breeds hate. You have all honed your bodies and minds, but your hearts are yet wanting. But, Shifu! Fear not. I shall go to Yingfa. You three are to remain here and continue your training. Is that clear? Yes, Shifu. I have a bad feeling about this. Keep us company. Yeah. <clears throat> Shifu, what are you doing here? I ask you to leave this place at once. I do not wish to hurt anyone. Not even you. <laughs> Don't be so quick to presume it'll be the same as before. I now follow the teachings of the Indomitable Fist! I have endured training more rigorous and relentless than you can possibly imagine. Allow me to show you the new techniques I have learned! Feel free to show me, my friend. The monkey's speed is mine. The longest journey begins with but a single step. You'll be weeping blood when I'm through with you. Wanna bet? You think you're winning, do you? You really 
really shouldn't. Showed him what for? Uh, impossible. How could I lose again? This isn't over, old man. Old A1 Lee will put pay to you in that rotting shack you call a school. Mark my words! Brother! Old A1 Lee? Does he lead this indomitable feast? You did it! I knew we could count on you, Shifu! See if everyone else is okay. Madam, he's like old enough to be your grandpa. Getting a lot of good items for talking to these people if they're taking care of those uh, goons. Except for maybe the pot lid, but oh well. Nice. Now then, time for us to head back to the, uh, back to our school. Footprints? Uh-oh. We'll follow where they lead to later. Looks like they're coming from the school. And it looks like it got smashed up while I was gone. What happened? Lei! Stay with me, Lei! Open your eyes. Home. Huh? Show yourself. Shifu. I'm sorry, Shifu. Yun. You're alive. What happened? Please forgive me, Shifu. It's all my fault. Disciples of the Indomitable Fist came. 
Angry, violent men. Lei and Hong tried to fight them off, but... I... I was too scared. And now they're both dead. Because of my cowardice. It's all my fault! Don't go blaming yourself for that. Green. Shifu. I have dishonored you and your teachings. So please... Denounce me. Cast me out. Don't be a fool. If you left, what would come after? A life of bitterness and regret. A weight you would carry till your dying days. You owe it to your fallen comrades to stay, Ying. There is much you can yet do. Heck yeah, there is. For Lei and Hong. Linger not in sadness. Nurture the mournful heart, that it may lead you to walk the true path once more. And know this ring. This burden is not yours to bear. It was I who moved this man to act against us. <sighs> there will be a reckoning. Yeah, there will. The indomitable fist will answer for their deeds this day. And they're going to. I won't let them get away with what they did. Lay. Home. I am truly sorry. Neither of you deserved this fate. My time draws near, and I shall join you both before long. Until then, rest peacefully. Attention, miss nothing, observe everything. My strength wanes, and so I may be able to perform this only once. Every breath carefully drawn. Every movement subtle and sudden. The combination of my life and my art. Are you about to go Super Saiyan? With mind's eye. An open heart. Mark well and learn. Greatest secret. Heavenly Peak's descent. Strong as you've become, you cannot yet perform such a complicated attack. Yet perhaps, in welcoming wisdom into your heart and soul. When the time is right, it will be yours to wield. Quite soon, I think given the prodigious skill you have demonstrated already. That's all for today. Now rest. You have earned it. Where are you going, Shifu? To pay my respects to the students I could not save. Yeah, we're going to be out going to get our revenge.
avenge those that have fallen. the tigers. There are no tigers here. What do you want, old man? This is no place for the likes of you. And yet, this old man must pass. For he has business with your master. is mine. Ha! You did well. It's him! The Shifu! Whoever deals the finishing blue will be well rewarded! Go! Perfect timing, Yuen. Please, Shifu, let me help you. You shouldn't have come. I can fight. I can. And I won't get underfoot, I swear. So please. I owe it to Lei and Hong as much as you do. Let me fight by your side. Prepared? Shifu? Yes, I am ready. He already took out most of the enemies for us, so that's a good thing. Yeah! And I'll deal with your equipment. After this fight, Yuen, as you're gonna need it. Yes! Brand bite. Wise Fox Grace. Nice. There we go. That. That. And that. Lot of work to do in leveling you up around here. Release the tigers quickly. Quite. 
All right, that takes care of them. Now for going in. Excuse me while I check these out. So far, so good. I did do this part once, and I had Hong in my party. However, he didn't come till I was like close to the end of this place, so I was pretty much a one-man army trying to get through this place. And that was from my first run. It was well worth it trying to level up, up uh, you went long before all this. Otherwise it would have been difficult trying to level him up here.
chance you may miss, but I do not. That's all, then. I think we're about halfway through now. Making a lot of progress here. It's the Shifu. Not sure why that's vulnerable or attackable. If you're wondering where Hong or uh, Lee would have appeared if they survived, for Hong, he would show up just as this fight is about to begin. And Lee, she would appear just before you made it to the fortress inside the bamboo forest. Let's take care of these guys quickly before um, Yuan gets killed by the poison. battle and he leveled up. Fire base move on that one. Nice. Oh boy. Welcome, Shifu. You. You are the master here. Oh, D. Wan Li, I challenge you. We meet at last. I see you have brought your surviving student. I must say, I'm impressed you have made it this far. A man of your age. But you'll find the fighters here are made of sterner stuff than the youthful dross you dispatched. Against their combined strength? You would not stand a chance. But a man of honor would never stoop to such cowardly methods. 
then what was the gang that attacked our school? Ah, that. That was a discordant rabble. They rely on numbers to carry out their tasks, yet still fail to do so all too often. So, by way of apology, I shall deal with you fairly and justly today. I present to you your opponents. Yep. Senshi and Sushi. Yep, he's gonna have us go through a gauntlet of bosses just before we go against him. Ishi and Urshi. Tongcha, Sha Cha. Nancha, Pecha. Ten. Lin. Shen. Sisters three. And finally. E Pei Ko. You shall fight all in turn. Defeat them, and I will accept your challenge. And now, let the revelry of blood begin! If you say so. Now, what are you guys weak against? My monkey ability, huh? Yeah! It's Sanshi's time to shine. Ah! 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 That's it for one. Now, what about the other? And you are mine. Okay, none of the Shifu's abilities are gonna work on him, so I'm gonna let you and take care of him. If I can. One, done. Round two. Okay, Shifu's got him covered. What about you? You're weak to foot techniques. I got just the move for you. By the grace of the White Snake! Ishii is number one! Now, what are you two weak against? You're weak to my monkey technique. The monkey speed is mine. Well, you are anyway. What about your other brother? You 
to be weak to my lion ability. That did a heavy damage to him. That takes care of one, now they take care of the other. Care to do the honor, Shifu? You did well. Four, I think. You are weak to fists. You are weak to fire. Okay. Fire ability do. Oh wow, that that did a lot of damage. Make quick work of him. That's one half, now for the other. You and help him out. You really shouldn't. I come for you. Is this my limit? Dragon Glove. That could be useful. Or not. But it is to the Shifu. Round five, I believe. Interesting. You more than live up to your reputation, Shifu. But how will you fare against the Sisters Three? Let us see. All right, what are all three of you weak against? You're weak to water. You have no weakness. You're weak to leg work. Okay. Who do I want to take out first? Probably the one without weakness. You've must! Killing 
my game. The longest journey begins with but a single step. I am Chan, the one who will take your life. Not if I have something to do with it. Wow, one hit, holy cow. I, Shen, will be the one to defeat you. The wise fox has many secrets. Two down. No. No. Now for the last one. brings down my physical attacks if I bring down my... Hmm. Okay. On to the last opponent. Impressive. You've put on quite a show, Sir Fool. It has been too long since you faced a proper opponent. Enjoy it, e pei Ko. The last enemy. What are you weak against? Nothing! But your resistance to pretty much everything the Shifo can do. Except for his white fox grace. You've must! You should be honored to die by now. Let's see what my elemental abilities can do against you. That didn't do much. Pass. Let's see what water can do. I'll freeze you in your tracks! This might be the longest one because he's got a lot of resistance. As the tiger rends its foes. Almost done with him, guys. I can't escape this flame! <laughs> Finish him. Enough. Forgive me. Masali! You did well. All that's left is you now. <laughs> Forgive me, but I neglected to introduce Sotu and Mendu, my elite guard, trained assassins who shadow my every step. I dare say they would have a fighting chance against me 
were they to grow ambitious. Thus do I keep them close, that I must remain on guard every moment. We of the indomitable fist eschew such things as trust and camaraderie. For sentiment is the enemy of strength. Attachments bind lesser men, and prevent them from attaining true power. Uh, Yun, I will handle the assassins. And you, my disciple, you will fight O.D. Wan Li. Me? One on one? Li's intent from the first has been to wear us down, bit by bit. He knows my strengths will not last, but he does not know your potential. Remember, your comrades laid to rest atop Mount Aspiration, and my final gift to you, my final teaching. Flashback. Every breath carefully drawn. Every movement Subtle and sudden. The culmination of my life and my art. With mind's eye and open heart. Mark well and learn. I remember, Shifu. So, rather than fight me yourself, you send this child in your place? I expected an old fool, but an old coward. Don't underestimate your opponent. You've always had faith in me, Shifu. Today, I repay that faith! Hmm. So tell me, child. Are you so eager to die? Ah! What's this? Shifu's greatest secret! <laughs> A desperate bluff. Wanna bet? Heavenly Peaks Descent! Here we go, final boss me for this chapter. Let's see what'll heal me. That'll do. Maybe this one. Holy cow. 
cow, man. Maybe this one. Challenge than I thought. And break the wolf within. All right, let's see you handle this. I'm so proud of you. You've become so strong. Stronger than I did hope. But Shifu, I still have so much to learn. I have faith that our art will endure for generations to come. Preserved and protected by you, my worthy successor. No, Shifu, don't! You can't leave me now! Listen, I am old. Too old. That I have lived so long is a miracle indeed. In guiding you on this path, I found renewed purpose for a time. Yuying, you are a kind and a loving young man. With the purity of spirit that shines through in your every word and deed. If you take but one thing to heart, then let it be this. Trust in yourself. Yours is a righteous soul. I will remember your words, Shifu. Well then, it's time for me to go and tell home and lay just how much you've grown. Shifu?
Hmm. Rest in peace, Shifu. split the great boulder. However, I know I still have much to learn. Sometimes I wonder if I'll ever be as wise or as skilled as you were. Or if I can fulfill your dying wish. But I must cast all doubt from my mind. And train until I master our art. This I promise you all. I will carry on our legacy. I will be the Shifu. Alrighty. Well, took me long enough to get through this all in one go, but uh, that was their second chapter in the chronological order for the game. First we did prehistory, then we did Imperial China. Was it a good chapter? Yeah, I think it was. I'd like to think so. And the stories are really interesting, especially for being able to choose which of the three disciples you get to uh, choose for the ending of this game. I like, I like all three of them, though I wish I could balance them out. When I got Hong as my first disciple, I was trying to balance out the entire thing, and. Uh, that's when I found out the hard way that you can only have one. So... I guess beggars can't be choosers. Would have been nice if all three of them survived, but, you know, what can you do? Now, is there something extra for the ending of this uh, chapter? Screen. I am currently leveling up Pogo, that way I can take on the uh, secret boss of the Mammoth in a later episode. He hits like a truck. That's all I can say for the boss. I'm getting off topic here, but oh well. At least you know that I am working on that boss battle, but it's gonna take me a while before I actually complete complete that one. Am I gonna do the other bo secret bosses in the game? Probably. I haven't decided yet. So far, I've only decided to work on the uh, the mammoth. I don't know if the others are worth it. Only time will tell, folks.
Nice. So, prehistory complete, Imperial China complete. What be the next chapter that we need to take care of? Well, our next one is going to be Twilight of Edo Japan. This might be interesting to do. But I will save that for next time and let's play Alive Alive. Live Alive. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment if you want. Ring the bell to be notified when our next video comes out. We do new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and occasionally Saturday and Sundays. Till the next video, this is Sword Archeld, signing off. Have a good night, folks. <laughs>